Hello, geeks and gamers, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. In the last episode, the last incredibly shocking and heartbreaking episode, Ellie had discovered the place that the that uh, Joel was being held by, um, what's her name? Abby, Abby's group. Um, and upon sneaking in, was subsequently caught and had to watch as Abby brutally ended Joel's life. Um, it was incredibly shocking. I did not at all expect that we would lose Joel, especially this early in the game, at the very least. Um, I mean, obviously, we know from the box art and the trailers that Ellie is on a warpath for revenge, but... Whew, you know, it still came as a as a shock and and a heartbreaking moment. Um, after that, Ellie made the decision that no matter what, she was going to go and uh, hunt down Abby's group and exact uh, exact her revenge uh, and ask Tommy for help. Tommy seemed like he was a bit more on the side of look, licks. Let's just live and let live, let's let it go, we don't know, he's being a bit more pragmatic about it, we don't know how many of them they are, are how well armed they are, two against a potential army, you know, but then we found out that Tommy went after them on their own, and at the behest of Tommy's wife and leader of their group, has sent Ellie and Dina off to pretty much bring Tommy home, but of course that also means that, you know, Ellie's gonna go ahead and get her revenge in the meantime. Rescuing Tommy is kind of a, uh, I think a side, like a, like a little side quest for Ellie. It's just icing on the cake. Just stick to the main path here. I mean, it's kind of a main path. Not, uh, not much going on. Just, just walking in silence. Taking in the nice scenery. Um, can... Okay, I was like, can the horse... I mean, I know a horse could, but, uh... I forgot what she called the horse. She said its name before, but, uh... Don't remember what that was. Don't really know where Ellie. I'm supposed to be going. Cars. Yeah, we're getting close. I was just kind of taking context clues. Got it. Why would I want to gallop right now, game? Do I need to go up here? Here we go. Guess I was wrong. Turns out you do know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. Can I get out and search any of these things? Get out, get off. Like, I kind of wonder if any of these uh, vehicles hold anything good. Also can't help but notice how unrealistic something is real right now. 
um, the grass would be growing pretty much underneath the car as well, but all of them you look at, the grass is still not really underneath it at all. Basically, these cars would be entirely absorbed. Though that might be a hassle to really animate, you know, kind of one of those things of like, why, why would we... Most people aren't nitpicky like I am. Okay, that definitely looks like I can go into it and explore. See if there's anything good. Let's see, how do I get off? Is it circle? Yep, there we go. Stay with Shimmer. Yeah. Shimmer, there we go. Nice. Yes. Ooh. The Starfire Kids. The Starfire Kids. Real name, Imiru and Sora Hoshi. Hey, I got a trophy. Brains and Brawn, both 60. Affiliation, Society of Champions. When 14-year-old twins, Imiru... Imiru... Imiru and Sora Hoshi found a meteorite in the woods outside Kyoto, touching it imbued them both with powers of astrokinesis, the ability to take starlight and turn it into energy. So, Jesus Christ, they would be unbelievably strong at night. Taken into custody by the Society of Champions, Tesseractor mentioned the kids on, mentored the kids on how to use their power safely and wisely, Though his overprotective nature eventually drove them away, now they live on the streets trying to find meaning and purpose in their powers. Neat. Hey, a map. Hmm. Welcome to Seattle. downtown Seattle. Alright, just gonna take that. Give me one moment, adjusting some audio here. There we go. Should be a little bit better. Anything else? Does not seem like it. Oof. Anything good in there? Found an old tourist map. Well, that's something. And a trading card. Also got a trophy. So I'm really getting the feeling, though, you know, why else would they have had us play as Abby sure for any length quiet. of time? Yeah. Hold Think that about back. how well we hide our lookouts. I know. That's what scares me. Um, there's only two reasons I can come up with, so that way we develop even the slightest kind of connection with her. Though, it doesn't matter how much of a connection you have, all that's thrown out the window whenever she murders uh, one of the main characters. Um, you know, one that, over the course of an entire game, we grew to, uh, to know and trust and, for the most part, love and understand his reasoning why he saved Ellie. Um, but still, to maybe develop some kind of emotions for her, or... Because there's going to be a larger looming threat that's going Whoa. to... <laughs> Is that, that a UPS me? truck? Yep. Watch the high spots. That is definitely a UPS truck. Um, oh, damn. Trespassers killed on sight. These guys are not fucking around. Um, 
but my money is on the fact that we're, or not the fact, but my money is going to be on us having a larger looming threat that's going to bring Ellie, Dina, and Abby all together. Like some cracks up there in the wall up above. You see it? Yeah. Not sure how we get up there though. But I think it's going to bring them together, and it's going to be that uh, not necessarily hey ooh oh, hammer. Not necessarily a, hey, I forgive you for murdering my father figure, but right now we need to work together to get out of this situation or to beat these other guys, but then afterwards you and I are still going to hash out our differences. Uh, I'm still going to kill you for killing my father. That's my bet. WLF. Trespassers killed on sight. That's friendly. At least we know we're in the right place. Where is everyone? They put up this sign. Means there's gotta be a way in. I mean, the way in is likely blocked, guarded, or hidden, but yes. I highly doubt there's going to be anything in here. Why would, uh, why would the WLF leave anything that can be used behind? They do the same thing we do. Yeah. Didn't actually think there would be anything, but always oh, worth looking. these cages holding seems cells. like it soldiers had them in Boston too Ooh, what is this A random piece of cloth sorry um I don't yeah I can't I can't do anything yet and I don't really have enough medicine to upgrade anything so damn I only have eight shots how much do I have? Nope, wrong button. God damn it. I forgot how to pull up my weapon menu. There we go. Um, I only have six shots there. Shit. No ammo. Ooh, I'll take those though. Uh, this looks like I can maybe get on top of it, right? I'll check inside of it first, because again, never hurts to look. Hey, look at that. When you get to the gate, look for a soldier named Kieran. Or Kyron, I guess? That would make more sense. Kyron. Tell him I sent you, then give him the kilo, and he'll get you inside the wall. Good luck. The kilo of what? What, what kind of drugs are we passing along here? Anything good in there? Pretty picked over. But yeah, it definitely looks like I can climb on top of it. For what, I don't know, but uh, here we are. Hmm. Ooh, there's a ladder. Okay, so maybe we need to get on top of those. So let's go see if there is... Oh, shit! <laughs> see a way in? Ellie, what about the roof up there? Yeah, I already saw that. We need to get up on this roof. Huh? 
I think. And then jump across. All right, ready? And yeah. Scrape her freaking shin all up. Dina, help me up here. Okay. Dina, give me a yeet. <laughs> Big yeet. I'll keep an eye out. Just yeah, see you if do that. Get the gate open from the other side. Sounds good. I mean, she she might have survived that. It's not it's not that far down. But then, okay. So if that's not what I do, what that's got to be what I do. Come on. It's got to be what I'm supposed to do. How did I miss the first time? What the fuck? Uh, I like how it gave me the balance thing, and I was already across. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm guessing I just jump across here? I mean, the worst thing that's gonna happen is I'll die again. Okay, now what? Yeah, take that. Okay, I legitimately don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I just drop down? This can't be right. Yeah, alright. Wait, why does she look so pissed? <laughs> what are you so upset about, Ellie? Okay. There is no way I make this jump. <laughs> nope. Oh, she made it. Oh. Fuck. Ellie? Yeah, I bet that hurt like a motherfucker. I'm good. Just almost died. <laughs> We're going to ignore the fact that you actually did die uh, about five minutes ago. Not even. Now what? There's a lot of now what? Um, hmm. Take that. I legit, I don't, I don't know what to do. Hmm. When in doubt, mash the X button. God damn it! <laughs> Why would you jump off, Ellie? Ooh, do I get a bow and arrow? You got a bow and arrow in the first game, didn't you? And it was kind of badass. Okay. So I, I retract that statement. When in doubt, do not mash the X button. You will apparently uh, just fall to your death. Ellie has no sense of self preservation. Damn, just turn your ankles into dust. You could have at least gone to the last, the last rung there and then like, hung for a second. Just snap your ankles.
Okay, I see that, but I'm gonna make sure I can't go in here. Uh, of course. Can I... I really like that that's a mechanic, that you can bust through the windows. Ooh, what do we got? Okay, I wonder when this was written. I'm, I'm not going to bother to read out all of these random ass numbers. For the most part, I will read stuff, but here we go. I'll read this. Got a big operation coming up, and Isaac wants us to scavenge any remaining Serving supplies from downtown. Base. Take any gas from That's the courthouse something. garage, the dome, and take them to the safe house in the Saravena base. Okay. So the Saravena base is where we are attempting to get to, I take it. That's a generator. A Dark Souls style shortcut. Hmm. Okay. Gotta turn on the generator, I'm sure power. that we found out. She's biting her nails. That's a nice little uh nice little thing to throw in there. But who's going to hear the generator having turned on and be coming out here after us? Oh, shit. Fucking. <sighs> okay. Or at the very least, they're going to notice that the gate opened, right? Ellie? Like. Ellie! Over here! Like, if we open this, aren't, is it, aren't they going to take notice of that? Hey, everything okay? What was yeah, that sound? Yeah, just electrocuting I myself. Got that gate open. Got to figure out this one now. Well, we believe in you. Thanks. The fuck is we? You and Shimmer? Oh. Huh. Fuck taking the stairs. You're in good enough shape. You don't need stairs. Hmm. Just making sure there's nothing else like that. Ooh, I can craft something. Um, how many med kits do I have? I think I have just the one. No, I've got none. It shows me right there. What happened to the one that I did make? <laughs> Whatever. All right. Definitely something out here that I need to do then. Do I need to somehow... Is that a random ass brick? That is. Can I just leave her? I'm just gonna jump over there. I'll be back, Dinah. Dina, god damn it. Fedra. Is that meant to be FEMA? 
Oh. Oh. Do I have it enough? I can upgrade my health kit speed. Move much faster in listen mode. Costs 40. Craft an upgrade for your melee weapon. Craft all items is twice as quickly. That one's still locked. Craft more effective health kits. And I need a training manual for that. Um... I guess I'll get this. All right. juice indeed but how do I get it over there do I need to just unplug it and give it a yeet I don't think that would reach But I'm going to do that. That thing just went through Ellie's leg. We're just going to ignore that. Give me a yeet, boy, and free my soul. Wait, what? Oh, tell me to carry it again. I mean, I don't know. I kind of, kind of call shenanigans. Hey, it went, it went really taunt. Okay. Whew. Okay. All right. And before we push the button to let her in, we are gonna go ahead and end the episode here. If you did enjoy today's episode. As always, be sure to do those things that we YouTubers ask you to do. And until next time, game on.